This video demonstrates a system for painterly rendering of images, video, and 3D models. The system supports a broad range of stylization using a toolbox of simple parameters that can be adjusted at interactive frame rates. For example, it's easy to change the width or length of strokes. The final image is composited of a series of layers. The coarse layer contains the largest strokes. Next, a middle layer containing smaller strokes is composited over it. The fine layer contains even smaller strokes arranged in areas of high gradient magnitude. Two parameters allow the user to adjust the gradient thresholds, which change the relative content of the different layers. Different parameters allow the user to control the relative stroke density in these regions as well. For example, the strokes in the coarse level, or the fine level. These parameters are often used in conjunction with adjusting the transparency of the strokes. The same framework allows us to stylize video as well. In this example, a video of some clouds, the strokes translate to follow the movement in the scene. Here's another example, a video of some children dancing in a circle, rendered in an abstract style. The same framework works for rendered 3D models as well. Here's a battle scene in 3D. Between every pair of frames in the input, we compute geometric flow. Then strokes from previous frames are moved according to that flow. Strokes are also added or removed to adjust toward the target density. Here's a different scene. In motion, the strokes offer a plausible analog of what a traditional artist might have sought in the form of a moving painting. Here's an example based on an animated 3D model. This model only covers part of the image. We can composite the 3D model over a background image to produce a seamless painterly result. In this example, strokes fade slowly into disocclusions for deliberate effect. Or we can use a video background behind the animated model. This 3D model of a lizard is seamlessly drawn over a photographic background in a colored pencil style. Just as in the case of still images, all the parameters that adjust style can be controlled interactively by the user during animation. We also have a tool that places emphasis in a region of the image controlled by the mouse. It works by adjusting the relative densities of strokes of different sizes. In this clip, the strokes are faded out slowly to leave trails of motion behind the character. In conclusion, we demonstrate a simple pipeline for painterly rendering of images, video, and 3D models. Our system supports a broad range of stylistic control at interactive frame rates.